In a Fox 23 investigation, there is now a fix on a busy road we first brought to your attention almost two years ago. We looked into it after getting complaints about it from you, our viewers. Many of you have experienced these <laughs> dips. Tulsa's investigative reporter Jana Clark tried to get to the bottom of why this road was built like this in the first place. She has those answers for you. It's her Fox 23 investigation. Back in August 2022, you told me you didn't think the redo of the road on South Memorial between 71st and 81st was done correctly. The construction clearly wasn't done right because all the grates, when you go down on the right lane, they're just like big bumps, it's almost like a speed bump on the main road. Josh Harding pointed out the road dipped down in the right lanes. In every spot, there was a storm drain. They built them in such a way that they turned into big dips. And so when you drive down there, it's just like boom, boom, boom. Every time you go over one, it's crazy. Josh said driving on this part of Memorial felt like riding a roller coaster. An amusement park ride I didn't pay for, right? You're right. Or you could pay for it if it messes up your car. <laughs> yeah, I might pay for it. You're right about that. Do you feel like it's bad enough that it could mess up your car? Yeah, I think it could. It could mess with the shocks or mess with your alignment because it's only one side of your car that's hitting it drive it after this and you'll okay. see what I'm talking about. All right, we will. So I took his advice and I went to check it out. It turns out Josh explained it well. It's just like boom, boom, boom. In 2022, I took your complaints to the city of Tulsa. I asked, is it supposed to be like this? The city told me it was a temporary fix until a capital project is funded for this road. The project is meant to preserve the pavement until funding is available for a capital project. When I asked if the road was supposed to dip down at every storm drain, the city said, the pavement is sloped to allow water to leave the driving surface to protect the drivers. Getting water off of the pavement also helps extend the life of the pavement. Now, almost two years later, workers are fixing the dips to make them level with the road. Over the weekend, City Councilor Phil Lakin told Fox 23 what had happened with Memorial Drive that the original road needed a quick fix. And they said, hey, we have a massive concrete problem that's deteriorating so quickly. He said had they let Memorial Drive go and not done anything, it would have cost taxpayers millions to fix it. So with what he called no money, workers added four inches of asphalt on top of the concrete to keep the road from getting worse. It was an emergency project and engineers were doing the best they possibly could with virtually no money. It was unbudgeted. So they just had to find little, um, I don't know, nickels and dimes underneath the couch cushions, if you will. So they scraped together that money and did as best they could. Problem is, once they added asphalt, the storm drains were then four inches lower than the rest of the road. The city chose a cheaper option. They left the storm drains alone and workers sloped the concrete down to the drains. We created these swales. And so anytime a driver would go through them, it would be a roller coaster ride. And people really didn't like it. The city says they came up with a plan to fix this. The cost, $250,000 of your tax money. 150 of it comes from two neighboring districts' budgets and the rest from the public works budget. Now, since we have a funding solution, they're coming back and really fixing it the right way. Councilor Lakin says they're fixing the southbound lanes first and will then tackle the northbound lanes. So everything will be at grade, asphalt will be smooth. So it should be a much smoother, nicer road that everybody is used to. Josh had told me two years ago, even though it meant dealing with more construction, smoothing out the dips would be worth the wait. It seems like every road project in Oklahoma takes multiple years anyway, so why not? Let's do it. In South Tulsa, covering news that matters. Jana Clark, Fox 23 News. Councilor Lakin says the southbound lanes on Memorial are now good to go. Next, the northbound lanes will get the fix. He said that could take two or three weeks to finish. Do you have a tip or issue that you think Jana Clark should investigate? Let us know. Email fox23investigates at fox23.com or call 918-388-5354 or search Fox 23 Jana Clark on Facebook.